How to use your PL1 amplifier. Position the fully charged amplifier so its front is angled towards the hearing aid user and its back is facing you. If the hearing aid user is in a wheelchair, take care not to block their view. Ask the hearing aid user to switch their hearing aid to the T position. Press the amplifier's on off button once. The amplifier will beep to confirm it is ready to use. Talk to the hearing aid user as normal. You do not need to talk directly into the internal microphone as it has a wide pickup range. Check the amplifier's air fills working indicators to ensure they illuminate in line with your speech. 1 and 2 is normal, 2 and 3 is too loud. The amplifier is set to operate for a default time of 10 minutes to ensure its battery does not run low. If required, you can extend this period so the amplifier operates for a default time of 30 or 60 minutes. To do this, make sure the amplifier is powered down and then press and hold down the on-off button and watch the AFIL's working indicators step between 1, 2 and 3. Let go of the button when the indicator 1 is lit to set the default time to 10 minutes. Let go when 2 is lit for 30 minutes and let go when 3 is lit for 60 minutes. The amplifier's on time commences the moment the on-off button is released. 10 seconds before the end of the session, a beep will sound to indicate shut-off is imminent. To extend this session by further period, simply press the on-off button again. If multiple portable induction loop amplifiers are to be used, take care to ensure there is a gap of at least 2 metres between each system to avoid the field being generated by one system being picked up by another hearing aid user stood or sat at another system. If you find your portable loop system is being used in the same location on a frequent basis, you may wish to consider fitting a permanent loop system. The PDA range comprises a host of such amplifiers. Please contact your supplier for details. For more information about CTEC and its products, please visit www.ctech.co.uk.